What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA Tech Plus certification exam. So let's get into it. In this video, we're going to be talking about configuring and using web browser features. In this session, we'll be covering several browser functionalities that enhance both security and productivity, including private browsing, managing browser add-ons, clearing cache, pop-up blockers, browser compatibility, profile synchronization, and more. So let's start by diving into these important features one by one. First, let's discuss private browsing. So private browsing, sometimes referred to as incognito mode in browsers like Chrome, prevents your browsing history, cookies, and site data from being saved. And this mode is useful for scenarios where you don't want others or the same computer to access your history, such as when shopping for a surprise gift or logging into accounts on a shared computer. So how do you activate it? In most browsers, you can open a private browsing window by going to the browser menu and selecting new incognito mode or new private window. In a scenario where you would use this, let's say you're using a shared computer in a public library and need to log into your email account. Instead of having the browser remember your login credentials, use private browsing to keep your information secure. So it's important to note that while private browsing doesn't save data on the local machine, your activity can still be seen by your internet service provider or websites that you visit. All right, next, let's talk about browser add-ons or extensions. So browser extensions, these are small software programs that enhance the functionality of a browser. You might install an ad blocker to stop annoying ads or a grammar checker for writing assistance. So when it comes to adding extensions, extensions can be added from the browser's web store. So for instance, in Chrome, you would go to the Chrome web store, search for the desired extension, and then click add to Chrome. When it comes to removing or disabling extensions. To manage those extensions, you want to navigate to the browser settings. From there, you can view the installed extensions and disable or remove them as needed. And a scenario to demonstrate this, let's say you've installed too many extensions and your browser is slowing down. You can disable unnecessary extensions to speed up the performance. Now, it's critical to manage these properly as too many or poorly designed extensions can affect browser performance or introduce security risks. Now let's move on to browser caching. So caching, this is the process where browsers store copies of web pages, images, and other media to load websites faster the next time you visit. While this is convenient, it can sometimes lead to issues such as outdated content being displayed. So how do you clear the cache? In most browsers, you can clear the cache by going to the settings menu, finding the privacy or history section, and selecting clear browsing data. And from there, you can choose what to clear, including cache and and cookies. And so a scenario would be if a website isn't loading correctly or isn't showing the most recent updates, you can clear the cache to resolve that issue. So regularly clearing cache, this is a good practice to free up storage and improve browser performance. Next, let's look at pop-up blockers. So pop-up ads can be intrusive and even lead to malicious websites. And most browsers include built-in pop-up blockers to prevent these ads from appearing. So how do you manage pop-up blockers? You can turn pop-up blockers on or off in your browser settings. So in Chrome, you can go to settings, privacy and security, site settings, pop-ups and redirects to manage which sites are allowed or blocked from displaying pop-ups in a scenario where you would use this. So while pop-up blockers are useful, they can sometimes interfere with legitimate actions, such as log into a banking site. In these cases, you may need to allow pop-ups from specific sites. So understanding how to configure pop-up blockers, this allows you to maintain a balance between security and functionality. Let's now talk about browser compatibility. So some web applications require specific browsers or browser versions to function correctly. So for instance, certain websites or web pages might only work well in Chrome, while others might be optimized for Firefox. So say you're accessing a corporate web application that doesn't display correctly in your current browser, checking the application's documentation might reveal that it works best in a different browser like Edge or Safari. So before using certain web-based applications, it is important to confirm which browsers are compatible, especially for business critical tools. 
Another useful feature is profile synchronization. So profile synchronization, this allows you to sync your browser settings, bookmarks, history, and passwords across multiple devices using a single account. This is especially useful if you use different devices throughout the day, like a desktop at work and a laptop at home. So how do you set up synchronization? In Chrome, you can sign in with your Google account to enable synchronization. And once signed in, any changes made, such as adding a bookmark, will be referred reflected across all devices where you logged in. And a scenario where you would do this is you would save an important web page on your work computer and you want to access it later on your phone with profile synchronization. The bookmark will automatically appear on your mobile browser. And this feature makes transitioning between devices seamlessly, allowing for you to boost your productivity. All right, so let's talk about organizing features, especially bookmarks. So bookmarks, they allow you to save and quickly access your favorite websites. And you can organize them into folders, making it easier to find specific sites. So how do you add a bookmark? In most browsers, you simply click the star icon in the address bar to save a page as a bookmark. And when it comes to organizing bookmarks, you can create folders and drag bookmarks into them to keep things neat. So for example, you might create a folder for work-related sites and another for personal interests in a typical scenario if you frequently visit certain websites like news sources or tools for work you can save them as bookmarks and this will save time and keep you organized so organizing bookmarks efficiently this improves workflow and reduces time spent searching for important websites Next, we have the default search engine settings. So each browser has a default search engine like Google and Chrome or Bing and Edge, but this can be changed based on your preferences. So how do you change the search engine? In your browser settings, you will look for the search engine section. And from there, you can choose your predefined search engine like DuckDuckGo for privacy focused searches or Yahoo for personal preference. In a typical scenario, if you prefer a different search engine for its features or privacy options, setting it as your default default ensures all your searches are routed through that engine. So this customization lets users tailor their browsing experience according to their needs. Now let's discuss password management. So browsers can save passwords for websites to make logging in easier. However, it's crucial to manage them securely. So using password management tools, most browsers have built in password managers that store encrypted passwords. And you can enable this in the settings under autofill or passwords. In a typical scenario, you frequently visit several websites that require login credentials. By saving these passwords securely in the browser, you don't have to type them in each time. Now, it's a good practice to use strong, unique passwords and consider integrating a dedicated password manager for added security. Now let's explore accessibility features. So modern browsers, they come with several accessibility options, including text resizing, screen readers, and high contrast modes to assist users with visual impairments. So accessing accessibility features in the settings, you can enable various accessibility features such as increased font size or enabling screen readers. In a typical scenario, a user with impaired vision may need to enlarge text to increase contrast on web pages. So adjusting these settings can make browsing more comfortable and inclusive. So understanding accessibility features, this ensures that all users, regardless of abilities, can have an optimal browsing experience. And finally, let's cover appearance settings. So most browsers allow users to customize the look and feel of the browser interface, such as changing themes, font sizes, and colors. So to customize the appearance, you can usually find these options in the browser settings under appearance. And some browsers offer downloadable themes or extensions that can change the look of tabs, the home page, and the toolbar. So a typical scenario, you prefer a dark theme to reduce eye strain when browsing at night. So switching to a dark mode or theme can make the browser more comfortable to use. So customizing the appearance of your browser, this can make it easier to use for long periods and allows for personalization. So that wraps up our overview of essential browser features. We've covered everything from private browsing and managing extensions to configuring pop-up blockers, clearing cache, and customizing appearance. Mastering these features not only improves your browsing experience, but also ensures you're ready for the CompTIA Tech Plus exam. So with all of that said, let's do some of this check on learning. So the first question is, you are using a web browser to visit multiple websites without saving your browsing history, cookies, or site data. Which feature are you likely using? Is it caching, 
Is it the pop-up blocker? Is it private browsing? Or is it a password manager? And the correct answer is you are using private browsing. So private browsing mode, this prevents the browser from saving browsing history, cookies, site data, and other personal information. And it is useful when you don't want your activities to be saved on that device. Next question. You notice that the browser is slowing down and suspect it's due to stored data. Which action should you take to resolve this issue? Should you enable private browsing? Should you clear the browser cache? Should you disable pop-up blockers or should you change the default search engine? And the correct answer is you want to clear the browser cache. So clearing the browser cache, this removes temporary files that can accumulate and slow down the browser's performance. And this action improves speed and resolves other issues related to browsing. And the final question, a user wants to sync bookmarks, passwords, and browser settings across multiple devices. Which feature should they configure? Would it be profile synchronization, browser add-ons, private browsing, or caching? And of course, the answer is profile synchronization. So this allows users to sync bookmarks, passwords, and other browser settings across different devices, enabling a consistent experience across multiple platforms.